Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video of Way of the Hunter. And we are back in the beautiful Transylvania countryside here. We spooked a bunch of road deer, but that's okay because I, uh, I heard some red deer calling. And sure enough, we have a herd right there. And there's at least one in there that, I, I don't know, man, he looks really big. But the problem is, the wind is not that good, and as I was saying in my past video, or one of my past videos, um, the wind kind of just pushes them away, so it won't exactly spook them, but uh, it kind of just pushes them away. Okay, let's see here. So we are going to be using the... Uh, the hunter sense today guys because i i just i don't want to mess up a good animal i know it shouldn't matter because we will get better ones but yeah i really just don't want to go into it screwing up a decent animal and honestly there's several up there that look good but there's like i said at least one that looks really good where So that's pretty strange behavior. I don't know why they're wandering down here. Um, hmm. I'm not going to lie. I wish the rest of the herd would uh, kind of follow suit with her. But I don't know what they're doing. And I don't know what she's doing either. But we're just going to take it easy. And hopefully... Get eyes on these red deer and see what we have. Gosh, that's... That's a big guy right there for a three-star. I'm not going to lie. Um, so this two-star right here... I'd like to get him, possibly. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. They, uh, they definitely don't want to cooperate. But that's what I was saying, guys. With the wind, uh, it sort of just pushes them away from you. Like I said, they don't necessarily spook and run off. But, uh... They definitely don't want to stay put for too long. Now, the question is, how am I going to be able to get to see these guys? I need to clear these trees, but if I get any closer, they're definitely going to spook. Especially if I get to that tree line, that's, that's going to be a bad idea altogether here. Okay, still calm, still calm. They are definitely going to turn, though. I mean... We could possibly call the one in. But I really need to get past these trees here. Oops. That's, that's not good. I can't even see them. Okay. Well, this is quite the find. We have two two-star adult male mouflons down here. Um... Boy, they have the potential to be something really good. We haven't got a lot of trophies for the Trophy Lodge here. And um, there is like a two-star mature in there. Um, hmm. Might be difficult to sneak up on these guys.
All I have to do is get a good shot. One star young. There's a lot of young animals in this herd. There's uh, only the one mature I'm seeing. Is there not even, is there, are there no mature females either? Yeah, those two star adults. Okay, there's there is a mature female. Okay. Yeah, those two star adults. I'm definitely interested in those. Two star mature. That's the one I want. That two star mature right there. But. Hmm. Let's uh let's take a look. And of course. I don't know which one that is. That's <laughs> these bushes could not be in a worse spot. I swear to God. <laughs> we don't want to spook them but if they just keep following this ravine I'm not gonna be able to see them and it does seem like they're just gonna follow this little crick all the way down so and honestly even if they kinda work their way up that way it, it, it won't be bad we'll still be in a good position I feel the biggest thing is we don't want to spook them, which we seem to be doing okay at the moment. Now, I'm not sure exactly when you guys are going to be watching this video, but I am recording this on November the 3rd, and we still don't have the update, the Halloween event or anything. Oh man, they are. They're, they're moving up now. And you know what? I'm wrong. This is going to screw us up. I should have just stayed. Well, now, wait a minute. Two-star adult. Two-star adult. Where did... That mature go? Was that him right there? No, one-star young. There's the two-star mature right there. Okay. Let's get ready. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit, guys. <laughs> okay, I don't even think we need to mark that. And that should be the one we want. So now I'm, I'm a little excited to, uh, to see what those two two-star adults are growing to because, as I said, our, uh, our trophy lodge on this map is really lacking. I mean, the Nespers Valley one isn't full <laughs> by any means, but it has a lot more in it than, than this one here. I would love to get a bear for the trophy lodge. That would be awesome. You know, we might even work on trying to get, like, a, a fox in there or something like that as well. So that marker I have on the screen there, guys, that's a question mark that I was going to. And I just happened to see these guys. So let's pick him up. Left lung dropped him instantly with that 270, man. I absolutely love that. So he was the two-star. 56% on the gene, so he wasn't anything special. Now, what I was going to do, I was going to check this out here. Um, just got to run up and get some of these question marks. Now, I guess there's uh, there's bear up in here because this is Highland Forest. So this is mountains over in here. And then this is where Highland Forest meets. So there should be bear all up in here. And that's uh, that's kind of what I'm on the lookout for. Now, 
I will definitely say that I think that all of the uh, the brown bear on the map are either are young. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say they're either young or adult because the only thing I've seen on the map so far are young. So I'm gonna say because they added the animals uh, brand new, that's kind of how they do it. So all of those are gonna be young, and uh, that means we're gonna have to play. We're gonna have to put in the time, and we're gonna have to. Fast forward time to get these bears to grow to adult or maturity, which is going to take a long time because it takes a long time for bear to grow. I mean, they live to a very ripe old age. But uh, yeah, I would love to see a mature brown bear, which I have not seen yet. I haven't even seen an adult brown bear yet, if I'm being honest. We've uh, we've killed a couple young, unfortunately. It's not something that I really want to do. Wait, are those the same mouflon that we just seen? They probably are. One star young, two star adult. Yeah, yeah, those are the same ones. They have. Uh, they didn't go far. And they're they're pretty calm now. Um, hmm. I'd really like to just sneak past them. I don't really want to disturb them. I don't think that's going to be possible. But yeah, so we're going to continue on, guys. We're going to get some more of these question marks. And hopefully we'll find some bear or uh, something else decent to hunt. Alright, guys. So we have a brown bear. Right below us here. He's, he's alerted. Um... He sounds very strange. Uh, we see him moving around down there, but I can't get, I can't get eyes on him. I'm gonna say he's probably not an adult. But then again, uh, well, no, I mean I haven't been playing on this map enough for him to get to be an adult. Uh, so if he's alerted, where the hell is he going? Like, why is he? Staying in the area. I mean, the bear, they, they could act differently. I don't have a lot of experience hunting bear in this game, to be honest. Because, as we all know, the bear in this game are difficult to hunt. Uh, gosh, he's getting closer. Okay, now we spooked. Okay, so we do have an adult female right there. And we have a two-star adult male right there. So now it's getting promising because now we have some adult males on here. And he's a two-star, so... Um... You know, if he was a five star, I would feel a uh, five star. Yeah, I mean, if he was a five star, I'd feel much better. Um, I would feel much better if he was a four star, but a two star. Did I say a five star again? I meant a three star. I don't know if I said three star or not. A three star. I would feel much better if he was a three star, but a two star. I mean, he could still potentially make four or five stars. So. Yeah, we're just going to have to let these guys go and uh, let them grow to maturity. And hopefully... Hopefully we'll get one for our trophy lodge. That's uh, that's kind of the goal right there. But again, we're going to have to play this map a lot more, guys. And really put some time in to get uh, to get some good animals in here. Alright guys, so it is getting towards evening here, and to kind of end out the video, we found a herd of red deer. We have a four-star mature in there. Now, obviously I could let him grow to a five-star. We do already have a five-star red deer in our lodge. 
I'm not saying that I wouldn't like another one, but for the sake of this video, because we haven't really harvested a ton of animals, uh, I'm going to attempt to get him, but I, I don't know, guys. No promises, because they are kind of going up into the mountain here. And it is just thick. As you can see, I, I can't even really see these guys. There's a right there. I need to take the hundred cents off because it's just so damn dark. So, like I said, we have a nice four star mature. Somewhere. Man, it is difficult. There's a two-star mature. Actually, we could probably take him out instead and save that four-star. There's a, no, there's a three-star even. This is a pretty decent herd. Um, hmm. Damn. They're already on the move. This is going to be probably the most difficult hunt of a video. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know where they're going. There's the four star. <laughs> Not that you can see him. Two star mature. So, the wind is really bad. So, it's not going to be easy to get. These guys, they're going to just keep moving around. They're not going to stay still. But uh, I would like to get at least one of them down. One star adult, three star mature. We'll just try for that guy right there. There we go. We got him. We will take what we can get, I guess. Uh, I don't see any blood over there. I don't see any blood at all. He jumped, so we'll go over and we'll check. You know, guys... It's sometimes it's it's just difficult. Sometimes you come out for a hunt, and sometimes it just doesn't go as planned for you. Um, today's just one of those days. The wind has been all kinds of bad for us. Um, that's been kind of screwing up our hunt a lot, and we're now we're losing daylight. And it, this herd of deer, they were in a horrible, horrible spot. I mean, you guys know. I'm not crazy about hunting in these conditions. I don't like hunting in uh, in the forest like this. Not really my thing. But, unfortunately, there's just times when you have to do what you have to do. And that doesn't look like a good hit at all. Ah, gee, that felt like it was a decent hit. But I don't know. That's not even blood. Did I not even hit that thing? I'm guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been having this issue a lot lately. Like, I thought I hit it. He jumped. 
I marked where I thought I saw the blood, and there's nothing. Wild boar. What? I have no idea what's going on right now. Okay, yeah, pink interval to slow. What is going Man, at nighttime. Wait a minute. At nighttime this doesn't glow? That's how it glows? Oh, I oh boy. So I hope the devs fix this. Because at nighttime, you just can't even see it. Like, you would think it would glow even more in the dark. It should be easier to see. But they make it more difficult, it seems. They, they dim it right down. I mean, where is it? <laughs> Does it help if the light's on? No, that doesn't do anything either. Oh, man. Okay, they, they really need to do something about this because this is... It's almost impossible. Okay, that's got to be the, the main hit. We got this up here. The, the, hmm. Alright guys, so I think we have it now. Uh I'm not gonna lie, this doing this at night is really not fun. It is really not fun. It's really difficult. The blood just doesn't glow like it does during the day, which is just so odd to me because you would just think that it would glow better at nighttime. There's blood. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, we're picking it up, but man, we are working for it. We are working for it. We are struggling. I think we're going to find him. Gosh. This is so difficult. Oh, my God, there he is. Jesus, that was hard. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie, guys. That that was really hard. All right, let's pick him up and see what we got here. Left lung, a little bit of the right lung. Not too bad. 181.7 yards away. He was a two-star mature, so we did get the right one. 62.9 on the genetics. Nothing impressive there. What do we get here? 296 on the score and 447.82 pounds. We're going to sell him. And with that, guys, that is where we're going to end this video. Now, I should mention the uh, the herd of red deer that we've seen in the beginning. They just they kept uh, they just kept it ahead of me. I couldn't I couldn't catch them. Um, I fast traveled somewhere else and tried to head them off. That didn't work. I, I I never caught up to him again. So we'll uh, we'll have to check on that herd in the near future and see if we can't get anything decent out of there. But guys, that's where we're going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you did like the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you tag that little bell so you know every time I upload a video and go live. We do live streams for Way of the Hunter every Friday night at 8 o'clock. That may change to Saturdays at 8. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know. But um, the live streams, man, they're really fun. I've been having a lot of fun with the live streams. And uh, yeah, you guys should check it out if you haven't checked one of those out. Don't forget to join my Discord. The link to that is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. 
We'll see you next time. But until then, happy hunting.